And you know why I went so deep in this election for President Trump is because, and nobody would listen to me, Ted, and you'll probably cut this out too, but under Obama, 13 million more Americans went on food stamps, 8 million more went in poverty. Uh, we had the worst recovery since the 40s, the lowest home ownership rate in 50 years, and we doubled the national debt when he said $9 trillion was irresponsible and unpatriotic. So, you know, how do I say in a nice way that liberalism on a massive scale failed the working men and women in this country. You identify with working men and women. Of course I do. 20 years yeah. of my life. I was okay. a dishwasher at 12, a cook at 13, a busboy, a waiter, uh, a bartender for a lot of years. Then I was a, a painting contractor. I hung wallpaper. I framed houses, fell off a roof three stories while doing roofing, I learned to lay tile. Those were decades of my life. You know. I'll tell you, everybody in our industry today, unfortunately, I've said journalism is dead. We have an information crisis in the country. You've said journalism is dead. You I believe that. Do you think it can be revived? And what will it take? That's a really interesting question. And I say this with all due respect and a compliment to you and your work during the Iranian hostage crisis. I don't really believe it can. You're absolutely right. We mm -hmm. are stuck in an ideological rut. And mm -hmm. programs like yours, mm -hmm. popular as they are, haven't helped. And I disagree. Said, I said the same thing to O'Reilly, and I've said the same thing of Rachel Maddow's program. I disagree with you. Do you? Yes, because Americans know Sean Hannity is a conservative. Yeah, huh? There's no pretense here. I'm not Ted Koppel. Right. I am a person It's branded this is a conservative show. Yeah. Is, do you think there are many people in America that don't know I have a point of view that's conservative or that Rachel is a liberal? That's not my point. So that's the editorial page of a newspaper. Do you against the editorial pages? No, I'm against the editorial pages taking over from the front page. Okay, that's, a, fair, that's a good response. I'm against the editorial page becoming the economic engine, well, I, 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 the economic engine of the network. 